Hey love, so today we're going to do a comparison between the Shade and Light Eye Palette by Kat Von D and the new Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade. So obviously they are super totally the dupes, at least they look like they're dupes. So I'll show you really quick before we get started. This is what the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette looks like. And there they are compared. So obviously it's meant to be a dupe, so we are going to try it on the eyes. I'm going to use one on one eye and one on the other eye, and we're going to see if it's a dupe. Dupe, dupe, dupe. My throat is a little bit scratchy today, so I'm really worried I'm getting sick, and I leave for London in a week. Um, you probably won't even see this video until I'm back, honestly. Like, maybe I'll get it done before then, but there's so much to get done, and I'm, I work almost every day until I leave. So we're going to film this now, though, just so it's ready. Yeah, so if I don't talk a lot, that's all it is. Don't think that I'm sad or something. I'm just trying to save my voice. So we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna bring in a little closer and we'll see what happens. I'm sure it's obviously it's gonna be a neutral eye, so nothing revolutionary, but it, it hopefully it will show the difference in similarities in this palette, so come on. All right, so I put a little bit of a MAC paint pot on my lids. Um, it still works, it's a little dried up, but it still works. I just figured, why not prime today? I was feeling like it. Some days I'm like, nope, some days I'm into it. So I think that I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution one on this eye, and I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light on this eye. So like this. Boop. I'm going to start by just taking this shade in both palettes, this one right here, um, just to set that primer on my lid. Makeup Revolution eye is this one. I'm just using the brush that came in the palette. Nothing fancy, it's just setting the primer. I do like these little brushes for lid shades, though. If you don't know what you're going to use this for, any like sparkly or cream shadow, these work really good. I'm just going to use the same brush. I feel like doing a warm eye. Are you shocked? No. I'm just going to go into this kind of warm quad over here, and I'm going to start with this shade right here, the orangey one, in both palettes. But I'm going to start with the Makeup Revolution on this eye. I really like the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, so this is going to have to really live up to it. This shade looks a little lighter in this palette than the Kat Von D one, so that might be why it's not getting quite as much pigment right away, but I don't, honestly, that doesn't really bother me because I am so fair. I'd rather build up a shadow than, like, bam, put it on to have way too much, personally. So now we're doing Kat Von D on this side. No, they're honestly, the pigmentation is about <laughs> exactly the same. I'm going to have to go in about three times with this one as well. Very, very, very similar. There might be slightly more pigmentation with the Kat Von D, but let's go back in with a little more Makeup Revolution to even that out. Now I am going to take this Ready Brown shade right here in each palette. I'm going to start with the Makeup Revolution and a little tapered blending brush. This one, when I swatched it, had an insane pigmentation, so let's see if it lives up to that. Not bad, not bad. So this is Kat Von D. A little smoother but not much. Inner corners of my eyes are like really dry right now so shadow is catching on there. Don't think it's the product, it's just my dry lids in this weather. It's getting colder and colder. I feel really bad. I've not had as many videos. I've just been so stressed out. There's been so many little details. There's just been so much. Not that I'm not extremely thankful and excited. It's just it's a lot I am. I'm really sorry that this year Halloween is not a huge presence on my channel. For some reason, I'm starting with Kat Von D on this eye, but I'm just using those same shadows underneath. This Carity Smudger Brush, you guys, is amazing. I love how I said that I'm not going to talk very much, but I'm still talking. You guys aren't following me on Snapchat. If you want updates or anything, like, that's where I go first. You know I have more followers on Instagram and stuff. I try and update that too, but Snapchat's just so much easier because I can, like, just verbalize it. I don't have to... I'm still using Makeup Revolution on this eye. Put it with a picture. I feel, I feel like it just gets the word out there much faster. Oh, guess we're having a super smoked out smoky eye today because I can't get it together. I'm going to Kat Von D. Get this eye going. Dragging it further down since I messed up on the Makeup Revolution eye. My brain's in just 800,000 places right now, so trying to concentrate. Apparently, I'm not good at it. Should use shadow shells, shouldn't I have? The new obsession. The white shade in the palette right here to highlight the brow bone in each each one starting with the cap on D just to kind of it helps blend out these edges too especially when you go a little too crazy so I'll lay down this and I'll go back with the blending brush and blend it out going to use the smallest amount of the black in the palette just to add a little extra depth 
make a revolution just over here, I think. In the outer V. I'm just kind of doing circles in that outer corner. You can see it just adds some quick depth in there. Go on D. So the Kat Von D black might be just a little bit more pigmented. I'm not saying for sure, but I could have just put more product on just a little bit. I'm going to even that out. I'm excited to vlog for the first time. That's something positive to talk about. I just ordered a camera. It's not the nicest one. It was only a couple hundred dollars, but it has a flip screen. It's an icon. I've never had an icon. I'm a, I'm a Canon girl and I'm like married to the Canons. Of course, I want the Sony one that everyone has. Sony A5100. Dreaming about it. Someday, girl. I'm going to take the white in both palettes again, starting with Kat Von D. So I'm plopping that on the lid. I forget how like pigmented this white is. Love the pigmented white. For real, though. Make a revolution. Not bad. Not quite as pigmented, but let's see if we can make it work. You can definitely get the same look out of each palette. So hopefully that is showing. I'm going to use the tiny blender on the other side just to buff those edges. I'm just going to leave it like that and then let's get on to our winged liner. And if I was filming last month at this time, it's like 4.30 um, p.m. I was a slacker. I didn't feel good this morning. The sun would be shining, but the sun is not shining. So no more. This is just the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black. I'm going to use a little bit of black liner. Again, ColourPop, it's all worn off, but I'm pretty sure it's Swerve. ColourPop black liner on the lower lash line. It's been my new thing. I For a very long time, I didn't wear any uh, liner on my lower lashes, but I'm digging this right now. Just a little bit, and I'm going to smudge it out with that smudge brush. But you're not going to be able to understand anything that I say because I'm mumbling hella right now. Put some mascara on. I've probably done this look with the shade Night palette before, but at least you can see they look freaking identical, so that's cool. I'm just going to apply some false lashes. These are just the Minx 2.0 lashes from Socialize. My, they're like my ride or dies. They're so dramatic and they're so, they're, watch me not be able to put this on, but they're so easy to put on normally. Literally just like, boop, popped on. Love them. So dramatic. Probably a little way too dramatic for some people. They have a Minx one that's a little smaller. So if you don't want quite so dramatic, try that one for sure. Yeah, I don't even think I told you guys. The other day I got a message on Instagram from Carissa Pukas. You guys don't know who she is? Oh my god. She's a YouTuber. You should know who she is. She's amazing. I love her channel. I love love her. So I fangirled quite a bit. Just a little bit. But she's the creator of Socialized Lashes. And I've been obsessed with these lashes lately. So she contacted me and said thank you for making the video that I made a while ago. Which But I was really, really excited. That's really exciting, you know? Someone that you really admire. Knowing that you exist is super cool. But no, she's amazing. If you don't watch her videos, definitely check her out. But I really, really admire her. I think she's wonderful. She actually just moved back to Canada from Australia. Not too far if you want to be my best friend, girl. Just saying. She's never going to talk to me again. <laughs> we also hit 35k, so that's cool. We passed 35k. That is awesome. It's all you guys. You guys are amazing. I'm going to use a little bit of that white shade in the inner corner. Brighten it up a little more. Open up my eyes a little bit. Make a revolution. Pack it on. That's the only thing I've noticed is it's like a little, it's slightly less pigmented. Just the white shade. Everything else seems pretty dead on. I'm just going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Face Palette. The only shade I really use. This is super duper random. I ordered this from Boohoo. Boohoo also sells a little bit of makeup on their website. Um, I haven't used it on my face yet. I've swatched it. This is the Technic Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder. I got mine There's in the pink shade. I think there's pink and a gold. When I first looked at it, I didn't think, I didn't think much of it. It kind of looks like the newer Makeup Revolution ones that aren't as shimmery, but this one's actually got a nice glow. So let's see. I'm excited to try it. Super finely milled. So it's not, I'm gonna have to pack it on. But if you don't like a super intense glow like I do, girl, I like, I wanna be seen from the sky. So it's actually, it's pretty nice. I like it. it was super cheap. It's like five dollars. I was like, girl, if there's an, uh, I will try any highlighter. It smells like donuts. That's weird. Like cake donuts or something. Yeah, for real. It really does. That's cool. There are much worse things that your highlighter can smell like. 
that on. I'm gonna have to blend that though because I just packed that on hella. Hella. I don't know what to do for lips. I don't know. It is freaking dark out now. What's the point of having the window open? There's no point. Sorry, the lighting is not as good on this video. Um, anyway, I'm going to mix. I'm gonna try mixing these. I don't know if I've done it before, but I don't know why I wouldn't. So I'm gonna use Little Stitches and Marshmallow just to kind of make it a little more groggy. Um, greggy? Groggy? Greggy. Greggy is the right word. Gray beige. I think I'm just gonna use Chi lip liner because it's sitting here, so why not? Anyone asking for ColourPop fall videos? I did not get those PR packages. Apparently they were super limited. Um, I don't know if I'm still on the PR list. I don't know, but that's okay. Of course, I will still buy stuff. I just didn't know that I wasn't really on the PR list anymore, or I don't know what's happening. So since I didn't get them, I didn't have a chance to really buy the fall stuff, and now it's so late. I, I don't even have time, so I, just, I guess I'm going to skip it, even though the colors are beautiful, and I would have loved to have had them. If I had known, I would have ordered them, but I did not know. No, I'm not trying to talk bad or anything. Please don't think that. I'm completely, seriously blessed that they even knew who I was at any point in time. And I will still be obsessed with their lip products. All right, loves, so that is a completed look. I hope you guys liked it. I do think that it's a dupe. I do think if you don't want to spend the money on the Shade Light Palette, go for the Makeup Revolution one. Super impressed. Again, this one is the Makeup Revolution Eye, and this one is the Kat Von D Eye, if you guys want to take one last look. I really like that highlight, too, though. Yeah, super impressed. Again, I'm not surprised Makeup Revolution kills it every time. They're so good at duping stuff. I did pick up the Too Faced Bon Bon dupe palette, the Hot Pink New Chocolate palette, which I'm going to haul in just a minute, so there will be a video. I don't know what order these going up in. I never know what order my videos are going up on. Up in. I feel like if I was doing only this, it would be much easier to like make a schedule and have a plan. But I have 800,000 things going on right now. So I don't even know. But even when I just have work and this going on, I still am like, I don't know. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will do a dupe video on the Bon Bon palette and the Make Revolution dupe very soon. So, well, not very soon, but very soon. Yes. Hopefully in the next month. <sighs> so that's everything. Thank you guys so much for everything. All the love, all the support, all the patience that you have with me right now. And I, I love you guys. I really do. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you soon.